Right. We are here tonight again. Hey, Roger, how are you? I am well, thank you. Awesome, awesome. Hey, and Robin, evening. how are you? I'm well. I'm how about then? Are you having a good week there, Roger? And good to see you in the background, Bob. I, yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to get to the same same plane, so, so <laughs> it's I fun to play with it. <laughs> and uh, and as long as we're talking about playing with the computer, um, I was gonna um, talk about. Uh, have you been to the you share they share page lately? Um, having been catching up uh, or keeping up with the uh, videos, uh, the seven thirty in the morning for Pacific time or ten thirty in the morning for uh, Eastern time. There's a really good one from last week. Um, uh, Christine Holland, she did she did that one uh, on uh, having your own um, link tree uh, email URL. It's a tiny little uh, URL that you can add to like your Instagram page and to your other pages, so that it makes a, a clean link uh, to uh, your products and services, and it can be customized. So take a look at that for sure. Um, uh, I, um, uh, had been wanting, or I had been curious about it. And so it was timely that she just, um, talked about it and she said she was going to do another follow-up video on it. Um, if you needed more hands-on, uh, uh, tutorial, but I just, um, on my phone, I just went to, uh, linked, uh, tree dot, uh, me, I think it is. And um, just uh, signed up and, and made the account and it was really easy and I didn't even need a tutorial to do it. So I would encourage you to do that if you're on social media at all. It's great. Uh, I see the benefits of it on uh, Instagram. I'm not sure if we can put those links on in Facebook or not um, or, or LinkedIn, but um, it's certainly um, a possibility. So like, you know, in the, uh, you know, like in the profiles um, where people all say, just click on a link in my bio and that's what you can customize and you can make it for um, preferred shopping parts for yourself. You can make it for in the adaptogen elixir, the collagen elixir, you know, mm -hmm. nine day shred, 30 day reset, whatever, you know, it is that you want to promote or that you want to. Um, so you can have a menu. Yes. And you know, it, of different things that you refer to in posts and they can just go into this link and then just make that purchase. Right. They fill in their name and they're good to go. I'm still in Facebook jail, so I don't know anything about <laughs> <laughs> oh, too funny. He was, yeah. He, he, I, I thought he was going to be up on it with his uh, 30 day uh, sentence, but uh, he's still not back on. So I don't know about that. <laughs> but uh, definitely you want to uh, check out and stay current on the you share, they share page. There's some other stuff going on too that um, I had gotten um, on there. Um, and I had also seen it uh, earlier um, with the uh, Pacific region uh, group that there is a, uh, there's a promo uh, that's just started today and it runs through Sunday. And it's a, a free fall phase. And in, in, the, uh, in the US, it's for new and existing customers uh, in Puerto Rico. And there is a Canadian version of it too. And I'll go over both of them. The, uh, the US and Puerto Rico is wholesale lifestyle rewards members and orders of $150 or more qualify for either one free box of collagen elixir. So that would be like the, the 10 bottles. That's what a, about a $39, $40 value or a free canister of creamy Dutch chocolate isoline classic shake. Um, and if and if you don't have the uh, premium membership, if the order is more than $250, it'll get free shipping also. And that starts today and then runs through Sunday. The, uh, 
the uh, the Canadian offer is for new and existing customers in Canada, and it's the wholesale lifestyle rewards orders of uh, one hundred and sixty five uh, dollars Canadian or more qualifies for the, a free box of the apple pomegranate e shots. Uh, which is a 12 count or a free canister of the creamy Dutch chocolate isoline sh uh, shake. So still the same value, but just a little, uh, a little bit different uh, take for, for our Canadian members. You know that those e-shots, they're so much better than uh, the cough leading liquid. What are you talking about? Cough, cough, cough syrup? syrup. <laughs> <laughs> the e-shots are better than cough syrup. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. Yeah. We kind of think they taste a little bit medicinal, and so that's why we call it. They taste like cough syrup, but it, we do like the uh, the energy uh, buzz. Clean, clean energy. Yeah. 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 And it's it, we usually uh, we've been drinking one uh, on the way to the gym, so just by the time we get there, it's kicking in. Nice. Yeah. And then I'm going to crazy. Copper. We lost 24 cans of beer. <laughs> we lost 24 cans. Yeah, I, I like the e shots because they're smaller and yeah. they're let you know, and uh, they're easier to carry around. Yeah, and I'm also saving the bottles because they're like 1.69 ounces. As for for uh, my, my travel bottles or my under three ounce liquid. Uh, so yeah. yeah, that's a that's an idea. The plastic ones yeah. are probably better than the, the glass ones, although the glass ones you could save them as well if you were carrying food in them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Who knows what I'll be carrying? <laughs> she fills them up with potato salad. <laughs> <laughs> not quite. That doesn't have to be under three ounces because it's not technically a liquid. <laughs> Uh, so a lot of uh, a lot of uh, good Facebook jail. You never <laughs> want to go there. <laughs> a lot of good stuff going on um, this week. Um, did you get your passwords uh, reset in your back office? Yes, finally. finally. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that was that was easy. Yeah, um, it was. But I'm, I'm. Did you have to wait any period of time with Penny? Because I'm having trouble with Penny. I'm still working on Penny. Okay, I might have to call. I, uh, I, I just, after I changed it online, I just went in, a, just, just signed out of the app. And then when I went to re-sign in, I used the new password, but it told me it was, oops, wrong password. I'm like, what are you talking about? I changed my password. So that's, uh, I'll have to see what's going on there. Did we see someone walk across the room and back of the two of you that had Thea. a birthday last week? Thea. Did Thea have a birthday last week? No. She did. Yes, yeah. she did. Happy birthday to Thea. Yeah. <laughs> she said thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. And so, um, how did you know that, Brian, if you're in Facebook jail? <laughs> oh, you know what? I they send me emails. <laughs> and I can't get him to do anything about it. Oh, that's I'm worse. It. Yeah. <laughs> Except I'm not tortured. Yeah. Anyway. I'm actually enjoying it. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, it, it is kind of cruel and unusual punishment. It's like, oh, these are your friends that are having birthdays, but you can go in and wish them a happy birthday. Too bad. So sad. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I bet you're a lot more relaxed, though. Uh, Mm, am I? Yeah, you're pretty usually pretty chill anyway, but uh, maybe um, you just find different outlets for his uh, energy. <laughs> there you go. Oh, and yeah. so what else is going on with you guys? Is, is your background real or is that a, 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 a wall? <laughs> it's, a, it's CGI because I can disappear. It's but what? I can disappear. Or, yeah, you get a different show. camera too. Yeah. So we're not yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, I can fade in and out also without even moving. Yeah. So. But yeah, I love the fade out feature. Um, uh, but unfortunately I can't get it. I don't know why. Um it's it it's not available on any of our computers to be able to choose it. 
<laughs> I decided not to stress over it because of the wind that would drive me crazy. <laughs> no, it looks very nice. It well, like the sun's going to disappear any second. Yeah. yeah. So, is anyone doing anything creative that they can share to get new clients or anyone who's been working? Or We just were talking about that uh, like five minutes ago and, and we need a restart. And I was thinking about stopping in at the, we have so many nursing homes and uh, extended living and um, that kind of business is in our area. And I'd like to put together a package or a cart and that would appeal to them and, uh -huh. and make some house calls. Yeah. Uh, the other thing um, too, with the, uh, the federal mandate coming out with the, uh, with the, uh, the vaccine, a lot of um, people are um, being told they have to take it and they don't want to. So they might be looking for other opportunities um, and ways to make money. Um, and I think that goes for Canada as well as the United States. Um, so, uh, you know, there, there's a, there's a market there. Um, you begin to figure out how to tap into it and, uh, white supremacy. <laughs> what was that? Wait, what? No, stop, <laughs> right? He, he's, he was being politically un incorrect. incorrect. <laughs> yeah. I don't want to get thrown out of zoom too. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is going on YouTube. Oh. <laughs> that would be a YouTube stream. <laughs> They might kick you off there. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyway. Yeah. So that's a, that's a good idea. Any other ideas? No. Well, I mean, not not just in 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 you know like you know care all kinds of fields. You know, companies now that are mandated uh, to go vaccine and um, that are over a hundred employees. Some of these people may be looking for and fishing for something else to do. That's what I was you know? just saying. Yeah. I was thinking about fishing earlier, and and uh, you know, <laughs> here, here, here it is. <laughs> be, a, be a professional. <laughs> yeah, we can be fishing for uh, for uh, new business partners that uh, yeah. want to be in charge of their own destiny. Well, Bob, you don't go in like ambulance chasers. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> Real them in yeah, one yeah. at a time. Yeah. How about you, Roger? How's is school started back up again? Uh yeah. And about two minutes before I got on the call here, I got called to teach for two weeks. And it wow. took well, probably five minutes before I came on. It took them five minutes to tell me what days and what times and all that kind of stuff. And I still don't know what I'm teaching. So <laughs> okay. but uh I did have an interesting um the thing happened after the call two weeks ago. Um, I thought, okay, I'm gonna go and um, do some snooping around. And so I was on, um, oh, what was it? The Isogenics, one of the Isogenics pages. And I noticed a, uh, a thing for, what do they call it? Wellness Wednesday. Yes. And I did a double take and I blew up the screen. No literally but uh, um, <laughs> larger and then say hey i know that guy and it turned out it was a couple that used to live in cranbrook they were they were doing the presentation that wednesday and uh i know him because i taught him so That's when so i uh, when i went on i said uh hey do you recognize and uh you kind of like that at the screen Hey, yeah, but uh, they haven't lived here. They they actually run a restaurant in Cranbrook. I'm thinking 15 years ago, and it uh, it wasn't uh, her. Her father had run the restaurant for years, and it just wasn't for her. So they started going with Isogenics, and now live somewhere in the states. But I have to track them down because not only did I teach him. Um, his sister is married to my nephew in town here. Oh, wow. Well, that's, yeah, those <laughs> good connections could be a, a source of, uh, you know, three-way validation calls. Yeah, that's exactly what I thought. Great. And then I've been busy landscaping every waking hour since then. <laughs> Whoa. 
but not tomorrow. I get to teach tomorrow. Something, nice. Nice. whatever. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I guess, um, you know, it, it, unless anyone has anything else, I've been keeping these calls a little bit shorter because it's been, there are smaller people and a number of people and not uh, as much uh, to uh, talk about. So anybody else have anything else they want to add or share or? Good. I like that fishing idea. Okay. Well, so do you think we should be fishing for more ideas? Uh, we're, we're staying here a few more minutes. If that's only what I meant by it, that's well, okay. Well, let, then do tell. Take take the floor and uh, well, you know, teach us fishing. You know, fishing, you kind of find a really nice place with a good view, preferably like the back of what we're looking at here, or what you're looking at. And, and you just kind of hang out there and, you know, the what you put on that bait is your intention, you know? And, and so your intention is the type of energy that you're placing or whatever. And, and, and you don't usually think of intensity of energy while you're fishing, because that's kind of relaxing and so forth, but there's anticipating that you might get that bite. But, you know, fishing, you relax, you know, you'll get the bite. That's, you've already got it there. And so what, what's there is what you put in the, the, the bait and then it just kind of produces channels somehow that bring people with those uh, characteristics of your, yeah. your intent yeah. there. So and, that, yeah, they're just know. attracted to it. That's yeah. the energy and the, yeah. the, they're in resonance with the, your uh, your idea to attract new business partners so you know Good. winnie the pooh was also a taoist and um so i don't want to start to sound like the curd factory and the mice and <laughs> 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 well, you could talk about but, Eeyore or, or... <laughs> but, you know, Winnie the Pooh had an interesting way of fishing. And, and you know, you, I guess, know some of the ways that he, he moved energy in a way that just was just by intent manifest. And, and very Zen. We have the Tao of Pooh book in the bathroom. <laughs> But it's actually very esoteric. It is esoteric, yes, yes. And it won't take your Jesus away or anything. You know? <laughs> Interesting analogy. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> we have to look that one up. <laughs> A little food for so, thought. So what if, um, well, so if you go fishing with questions, but asking the questions, uh, mm -hmm. they can swim away and they can still come back to without really taking anything away. No, they can't. They just can't swipe the bait and run with it. Yeah. Well, it's, you know, you'd be surprised what gets put in that intent and how that what what you put in that intent. You see, go back to the acorn seed in the oak tree. You know, the oak tree. The, everything about the full adult. Uh, oak tree was in the seed before it was planted and the whole image the whole image of it and so you know if you want a beautiful oak tree you start with the image that is contained within that seed with a nut and not whatever and you want so to your bait, and nut. <laughs> so your bait is that seed you know and so yeah that and, it and, contains and, everything in there your vision and your your uh your goals, your your uh, intention to serve the other person and to attract those people that you can be of service to. And, and so in that bait, what you've got is you've got people that are looking for an alternate way of earning income. You've got them with some sort of something or other that, that are is timely enough that one of our products would be really, really great for. And you know, and, that, and then those people come to you. I like it. 
Well, I did that in real estate and it worked. <laughs> I've done that a little bit in, in MLM. I haven't been too as strong on it as before. You know, we call it the imaging process. So I compare it to phishing because some of the principles are the same. And many of the principles that seem to work best in terms of natural flow and ability are found in nature because everything is, is um, all um, controlled by the same set of forces or universal laws or principles. The one with the one creator. <laughs> so so when, when you, um, it always kind of, you know, is, it's an interesting question. Why does something, you know, work for a certain number of people that not for everyone or, or you know, what, what's, what's the deal behind what, is really the the you know at all of, of, of what is going to work well principles can explain why things don't work when they don't work and why they do work when they do work and so um the the i guess the uh, on that note what eventually is worthwhile in in playing around with this stuff and looking it up and and, and uh seeing how how principles apply to what's going on in your own life it just it could be astounded establishedly interesting to put it mildly and then just as an inner reflection of that you look outward and you by knowing yourself you know others better than you know then they're going to let you allow them to know that you know about them on that note Brian, i think <laughs> we can wrap it up <laughs> Good, thank you. Enjoy your teaching tomorrow, Roger. Oh, thank you. Yeah, definitely. Maybe. Yeah, keep looking it. forward to it. So, keep have a great week, people. folks. All right, you all do the same. Okay. Thanks, Kate. Good night, everybody. It's good to see good you. Night. Great Bye -bye. seeing you too, hey, Bob. Thanks for joining us, Bob. Good, good night. night. <laughs> Bye.